Hello. How are you today? I'm Alder Dash, and I'm really confused because I'm in uh, this mode, and I keep trying to walk in the wrong direction and getting confused. Anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm hoping to start a series with um, a number of short uh, videos. Short, not because I desperately want them to be short, because that's all my internet will take. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm touring um, the old maps of one of the servers that I play on. It runs, um, I think, through Bucket called Multiverse, so the old maps are preserved, which is, I think, really, really cool. Um, I'm starting with this one, which is the world which was generated in, I think, 1.2, just after Minecraft was released. And I'm going to go to some of my own builds and some of the other builds and bases on the server and just have a look and show you all the cool stuff that we've done. So first of all, I'm going to get out of this so that I can see. Ha! That's better. So this is our original spawn point. Um, I think it was... If I, I remember... <laughs> I remember spawning like right in among the jungle. I don't think it, I think it was maybe shifted to this to be a slightly more open area because man was I confused because I, I spawned in and I didn't actually know that the new map had started and I had no items and I was petrified. Um, but as you can see that's there's a few more things here. That there isn't a spawn town or anything as such on this server. Um, there's some buildings up there. I think that was the admin. And one of the things which is quite cool is this. So this is our teleport hub. The um, admin has, this is the notice board which I built. This is nice, look, pretty. There you go, little view. Um, the admin used command blocks to put teleport points in. Uh, I know a lot of other servers use things like nether tracks and nether rails but <laughs> and most of the folk on here didn't have an awful lot of time to play so those things were not um, no one really had the time for that so this cut down on travelling an awful lot we've got two, oh wait hold on, I can't remember if there's anything out this side hmm, nothing really there's someone's base over there um, I think that's Mr. JB oh he's not, that's, that's what I call him in my head it's actually like his initials but it reads that way which I think was his base over the or Yeah, that looks like that's part of that. It must be there. Um, space for another one up here. That's JPJ Dice teleport point. Down on this level we have Creo's Island of the Damned, which I would really like to do at some point. I'll check with him, that's okay. I think this is Rossini's Swamp base. And town. Oh, right, yes, this is the one to one of my builds, which was fairly far out, and that was a real help to for getting back and forth quickly. Pandaland, which is our um, what do you call it, amusement park, and villagers, villagers. Oh yeah, that's two. Yeah, we <laughs> we didn't have any convenient villages on the server, so. Um, goodness how long ago it must be a year past this summer no like not last year but the year before two years come this summer um we mine to use rail and mine carts to get three villagers down from a oh my goodness it was so far away it took us the whole of Wimbledon <laughs> the Wimbledon final we sat and uh, I got them most of the way and then I had to go out and someone else got them and we made a village and bred them and then we had a village. And this is me. Have I missed any? No, the bottom level's where the, yeah, where the notice board is. So we're going to my place first, my original base. Okay. Nope, facing the wrong direction. Here we go. That wasn't there originally, I just stuck it there, I think. When quartz was included, I wanted to play with it, so there we go. Okay, so my base is kind of weird. It's not terribly organised. Um, you can see there's lots of snow. I hate snow biomes so much too, but somehow my bases always seem to end up in snow biomes. Um, 
way over that way there's a little patch of plains and that's where Rossini has her house and that thing there is is something interesting that's um, maybe later or another time so let's just do this first basically I had just I dug a hole in the wall and made that my my house um, and then over time I decided wanted, I wanted to do something with it a little bit so it's pretty weird I've got to confess hello cat neither of these cats um, has names. I'm not sure why. I'm, I have uh, name tags on here somewhere, but never bothered. So this is the reason this why this is so sort of snug and badly planned. It started as just like a hidey hole and then I expanded it as time went by. I made this out of lapis back when lapis looked different and I'm not Still not terribly sad. It looks too much like bathroom tiles, the new one. But I still like the colour, so I'm, I'm conflicted. Um, and there's my bed. Uh, this is... Where, it's 1.7.2, this map. Um, runs on now. Uh, so it's the old enchantment tables and things like this. I have no idea what's in any of these chests. I used to know for sure. Um, but none of them are labelled, so a lot of them it's just sheer memory what's what's in here. The one thing I do know is that, yeah, that one at the... Oh, there we go. That's a better pick. I could not find decent picks earlier. I was like, I don't know what. Um, we now have uh, a one point... Yeah, sorry. I said earlier this was one point. I'm running in 1.7.2 uh, to play on it. But it's a... Like I said earlier, the map was generated in 1.2. We have a new map um, <laughs> with uh, mesas and stuff like that, but we have I have no resources on it and my entire inventory was wiped when the new one was generated, so I had to come here and search through all lots of things to try and find some decent um, equipment. Now, as you can see, this is a little bit more organised. It's got labels and stuff. Okay. I'm just going to come over here. And I think I'm going to sneeze. So I'm going to stop recording for a second. Of course, as soon as I said I was going to sneeze, nothing happened. So <laughs> um, hopefully that's not going to catch me by surprise. So yeah, um, there was water up on the top of this. And the more I built up, the more I got in the way of it. So... This is a weird room, but I, I don't care. I liked the weirdness. Uh, it has a watermelon roof for no reason other than I thought it might be interesting. This is my to-do list. Some things, you know, never really get finished, like the amusement park. You just kept adding stuff to it. Um, don't think I ever did that either. That never really came to anything. Um, the medieval city we'll go and look at at some point, but maybe not in this video. Let me think. Um, to show you my next cool thing, I need a lever. Because if I come down in this little bit, we've got my sort of um, brewing area and that's got my ingredients and stuff. I promise I actually collected all this stuff. This We had we were on that played in this map for a very long time and we had Blaze Farms and various other farms, which you'll see outside at some point, I think. Um, fireworks. I love fireworks. I wish I could like gather all these up and take them to my other server where I could set them all off because it would be fun. Uh, books and things. This area. Um, my main my main mine is down the other way, but as you can see, I did the whole this entire area is completely mined out. It's ridiculous. Um, but not terribly organised, to be honest. Right. Ta-da! Look what we have here. This is one of my secret areas. I really like sandstone. Um, I haven't built with it in a long time. But I love this one. The smooth smooth sandstone is really nice, I think. The only thing which I know... Oh, see, now I could come back and I could put carpet down and glowstone underneath it. Because the one thing was these... This was not giving up it, off enough light for this um, bottom. For the floor. Most of my valuable stuff is in here. Not that I ever thought anyone was going to take it, but just because, you know, if you've got a secret place, that's where you should put your valuable stuff. 
Um, these blocks here were all, and, I'll, and in the corners, um, were all harvested from jungle temples. They were like, I think they're the only ones that anyone actually has on the server. And I have custody of the dragon egg. Ross and I killed the dragon. And technically we're supposed to like share custody. Um, but somehow it keeps sitting here. So I made a little cabinet and it stays safe. And it's like, there we go. Even got some fancy emeralds to sit on. This actually has a back door. There's a little bit along here. And there's, um, oops, wrong one. Wrong, nope. There we go, right. So I can't remember, there's a, pl a point on there where if you place a button, I'm scared to go through now, there we go. Um, you can close it and the buttons are hidden in the furnace so that it doesn't look like anything from the outside. And I think Ross built this for me because she's actually quite good at the piston stuff. I understand the principle, but my redstone circuits always end up too gigantic and hopeless to actually be of any real use. So. Anything else down this area? I don't think so. And it's night time. And there's skeletons. So, and there's, oh my goodness, there's creepers all over the place. Wow. Oh my goodness! That guy, that guy really knows I'm in here. Here, take this. Ha! Wow. It's a good ball. Okay. Um, well the cats are keeping those creepers away, so that's nice. You're just staying over yonder. Um, down this way. Oh, you probably can hear my portal. There it is. Um, bring enchanting zombies this way. Yes, there was a zombie grinder down there, but I changed it into the thing that, up there that says zombie game. And I used an awful lot of wool in this place, but I think it was just because I wanted to make it colourful because it was kind of dark and things. Anyway. This will do for the end of this one. I think that's around 10 minutes in total. And... Hello. Um, hope to see you soon and I'll show you my farms and then maybe go on to some stuff that's a little bit more exciting. Bye bye.